Hi, welcome to the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. I'm Dr. Steve Rittner, and it's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. We've got a neat video for you. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I know I say that all the time, but I mean it. You are going to enjoy it. It's a good one. What we're going to be doing today is dealing with an interesting problem. It's fall. And typically in fall, we've got great holidays like Halloween and Thanksgiving when we're inviting people into our home and we have all kinds of visitors. We want our homes to look nice. We're looking for interesting and new ideas in terms of decorating. And we're always looking for a different kind of an angle. Well, I'm going to show you a little trick today. It's a cool one. It's an all-purpose design that can work pretty much throughout the fall. Um, and it's got an interesting kind of an angle because what we're going to be doing today is a vase arrangement that is all orange. That's right, it's all orange. There'll be a little bit of mixture of one other thing into it, but mostly orange. And to start with, we've got a container. Isn't this an amazing looking container? It looks like a container that somebody took a hammer and bumped the edges in, but it's a ceramic container. It's definitely orange. We could get away with a neutral container, like something that's black, or maybe something that's very uh, dark in terms of brown, but uh, we're talking about an all orange thing, so we're gonna start with an orange container. Alternatively, if we wanted to themate this more towards Halloween, we could, for example, use a jack-o'-lantern pail, a little less expensive alternative, or an actual pumpkin. But I think that uh, finding a nice orange container really helps to set the stage for this. Now, when we're looking in terms of different kinds of materials that we can use, for these kinds of designs, uh, the first thing that immediately came to my mind when I started looking around were some of our Snapdragon. Aren't these gorgeous? They're absolutely beautiful. They're orange, but you'll notice they've got a little touch of maybe yellow and even some pink in them, and I think they're really cool. Of course, I like Snapdragon. Hello, my name is Harvey. But I think they're a really, really cool flower, and they're really good because they're linear and they can create height in our design. So we're gonna start our design by taking some of our Snapdragon and we're gonna use a few pieces of Snapdragon in this to really make our design fairly good sized. And I'm going to start by placing one right up here. And you notice this is not going to be a short little thing. It's gonna be a fairly high one. Again, uh, we can come up with some pretty cool results when we make use of the length of some of our stems. If we didn't use Snapdragon, we could, for example, use another amazing flower that is sometimes available around uh, this time of the year that also comes in orange, and that is, of course, our gladiolus, and that would work as well. But I'm using my Snapdragon to create height. I'm going to place a second Snapdragon in here, coming down a little bit lower, and I'm going to take a third Snapdragon, and just bear with me, my viewer, while I'm cutting them, and come down a little bit lower still, so that we're really making use of our Snapdragon to create height on this design. This is not gonna be a teeny tiny arrangement, as you can see. Now, I want to extend our design and come up with an interesting effect. And again, I was looking for different kinds of orange materials that are around. How about this? These are marigolds. Aren't they amazing? They're absolutely spectacular, and they certainly are bright orange. In other words, anything that's orange will work well if we're trying to come up with an all orange kind of arrangement. And so we're gonna play with some of our marigolds in this design today. And I'm going to use some of the marigolds to establish the points. In other words, we're going to come up with something a little more high style. And you'll notice, my viewer, that I can take a marigold and hang it off over on one side and then I'm going to come in a little bit closer with another piece of my marigold. In other words, we created the high point on this design using our Snapdragon. Now at this point, I am going to establish the edges of the design over on this side using marigolds, and I'm gonna do the same kind of thing over on the other side of the arrangement as well. I'm going to take, again, some of our marigolds, and I'm going to trim them, as I'm doing right now at my design bench. And then we will put them in place as well on our design too. So I'm going to take another, another one of my flowers here and place it in over onto this side. So notice that we're creating the overall form of our design, the overall shape of our design with 
some of our materials before we even start in terms of working in towards the center. So we've got something that's going to be kind of triangular, but it's not going to be an equilateral triangle. It's going to be something that is definitely going to say, um, I'm interesting, I'm triangular, I'm high style, but I'm not boring. Now I'm going to shift gears for a minute and I'm going to use another material that is not orange. This is, believe it or not, a filler. It's an aster, solid aster. It's been tinted or dyed and it's dyed brown. And I'm going to deliberately use some of this stuff because even though I'm going for an all orange design, sometimes we can come up with very, very interesting results on these things by mixing something that is slightly contrasty with it. In other words, we're going to use a little bit of contrast in here and work it in so that it'll f almost serve as a counterbalance to our orange and it'll make the orange feel a little bit more intense. It's a good trick because if you think about it, we can't do pure orange on something like this. We still have stems. We still have foliage so that even though we can talk about an all orange design, we are kind of playing a little game with ourselves in terms of saying, yeah, it's all orange, wink, wink, but we've got some green in terms of foliage and some uh, green in terms of stemming. So I'm going to sneak in a little bit of my solid aster here, which will kind of give me a counterbalance to it and it'll make things against it feel a little bit more intense. Now I'm going to continue the process of adding some of my marigolds. I'm going to gradually work in here, gradually coming in, in towards the side and then I'm going to gradually work pieces upwards. As you can see, working upwards towards my section of Snapdragon. So we're coming up with something that's rather interesting, my viewer, don't you think? In other words, we're working our line and we're working some of our marigolds to create an interesting line on the design. Now, let's see, what other interesting things can we do? Well, there are many different kinds of orange flowers out there. Here's one that is readily available and it's one of my favorite flowers, and that is our carnations. They're big, they're beautiful, you can't kill the darn things, and they certainly are available throughout the year. And the thing that you'll notice, my viewer, as we're using some of these materials, our marigolds are orange, our snapdragon are, uh, are orange, our carnations are orange too, but they're a different variety of orange. In other words, when we start taking some of these materials, and we start doing these kinds of mixtures of all of one color, sometimes people think, well, this mono type look must be rather boring because after all, orange is orange. But the kind of neat thing about this is that they don't have to all be exactly the same. In other words, because we're playing with all orange, there are oranges and there are oranges. And that's exactly what we're doing here. In other words, we're playing with the concept of oranges against oranges, but we're playing with it in such a way that we're getting contrast in terms of the quality of the oranges, which I think is interesting. So notice, my viewer, I'm taking some of my carnations and I'm just gradually working down, creating another linear element using my carnations gradually working from up here and then coming down here in towards the side. So you'll notice we're coming up with something rather interesting. And again, let me cut another flower and get it in place. And you can see how this will gradually develop into an interesting kind of shape here. So we've got some of our orange snapdragon, we've got some of our marigolds coming up here, a few here, an interesting curved line coming up through here with our carnations. Now I'm going to go back, my viewer, to my marigolds and I'm going to add a few more marigolds into the mix because I have this area here in the center which is rather open. So I'm going to work some right over here and I'm also going to play with another one of my marigolds over over onto the other side. In other words, I have a spot over here that I'd like to sneak something into 
to give us a little bit of counterbalance on our design. Now, let's see, what other interesting things can we do? Oh, well, if we're talking about different kinds of orange, of course, we've got small little pumpkins that are available at this time of the year. So let's work some of these into it. And my viewer, just for your information, the way we generally handle these is that we just simply take one of these little pumpkins and uh, let me find one here for you. Uh, we take the little pumpkins and we generally will take a stick and then just simply poke it right in. In other words, we'll poke it right into the back part of our gourd or pumpkin like so. Be careful as you do it because you don't want to stab yourself or hurt yourself. Sometimes it's useful to use a pair of clippers perhaps to do that first. And notice that with a couple of our little pumpkins, we've got an interesting effect. Now I could stop at this point if I wanted to, but there's one more thing I'm going to add that adds a little bit of interest and color to it. And that is we do have around this time of the year all kinds of autumn leaves. These also incorporate reds, red oranges, and oranges into them. And it is very, very pretty. And again, it adds another kind of level of interest to our design. So I'm going to take some of these and work a little here and there and through. This is going to help cover our mechanics and do it in a seasonally kind of appropriate way. So I'm taking some of these little pieces of my uh, little pieces of my oak leaves and I'm just kind of working them here and there. Now if we don't use this, we could also use some of our regular foliages into this. We could also use some of our mosses, and certainly we're going to continue that process in terms of the back part of the design. So notice, my viewer, what we've done. We've got a very, very interesting composition here. It is high style. This is the kind of design that could go very nicely into an entry area. It could go on a mantle. It could go on a sideboard. It is a one-sided piece, and it is essentially a pretty much orange arrangement. Yes, I've used a little bit of the brown in the solid aggo, just here and there for a visual contrast and interest. But you notice, we started on this with our Snapdragon. We worked some of our marigolds in here, over onto this side. We worked a nice kind of curve working with our carnations. We've got a few more marigolds to fill in, and a couple of our small pumpkins worked in towards the center. Quick easy and fun. That's the Rittner Floral School way. So my viewer, if you're looking for an interesting idea for a fall arrangement, think all orange because it gives a very, very seasonally appropriate kind of design. You can come up with very interesting qualitative differences in textures, colors, sizes and materials with your oranges and come up with something that you don't see every day. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. We want to thank you for coming in and visiting with our school today. By all means, please feel free to visit our website at www.floralschool.com. Also, take a look at our Facebook page because we're constantly putting all kinds of uh, interesting free resources out there. And go out and buy some orange materials and play with it. Come up with some interesting things. I think that you'll find it'll be something that you may never have considered before, but it is something that certainly will add a very, very interesting look to your fall and your fall holiday arrangements. Again, thank you for coming in and visiting with us today.